y'all welcome back to my channel so i am doing my planner envy subscription unboxing um i just want to do a little disclaimer i am not sure if i am going to continue to subscribe to this box uh one of the reasons is a lot of people know the controversy that happened with erin condren and i'm not 100 percent sure if i will be continuing with my erin condren planner next year um i will continue using the one i have this year i've already spent my money um, pretty much have changed all my covers out to DIY covers that I've made myself. Um, and her subscription is specifically for the Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. And because I will be no longer supporting her, Erin um, Condren, it doesn't make sense for me to buy the planner kits for her specific planner. And I haven't decided what my new planners will be. Um, you all know I've already purchased my 2021 planner from Erin Condren and I'm not sure at this point if I will utilize it or I will sell it. I think I paid about $65 for it which is a lot of money. And you all know I got the um, seasonal summer box or whatever box that was. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but for now um, the box came so I'm going to review it. But as far as my planner goes, um, I don't know. I know I will not be purchasing any more from Erin Condren ever again. Um, that ship has pretty much sailed um, because um, the controversy happened some weeks back. But if you look, they pretty much have, tri they're trying to change the narrative. They basically say that she was taking a um, leave of absence from the company. But, um... They haven't talked anything else about it. They've been promoting their sales and giveaways and stuff. And so basically they're, cha they're trying to change the narrative. So sweep under the rug. And hopefully everyone will forget. Um, I can't spend my money at a company like that. So I do have my 2021 20, planner already. I probably will utilize it only because I've already spent my money. And what's going to have to happen is I probably will be getting custom covers made to cover um her covers did not use her covers and i got a neutral planner so we'll see i'm currently looking for a new planner for the 2021 2021 20, 2022 year um i'm just on the fence about everything about what to do but i want to finish my planner out this particular year um because the year is already halfway over and i cannot it doesn't make sense for me to start in a new planner just know that i it, I will no longer be purchasing her products in the future and this particular one clearly states that it's made for the ECL uh, VLP um, and because she specifically made it for that planner um, she the company has also and they don't have to okay let me get that straight they don't have to do this but they have not come out um, and and condemn what she did um, they basically stay silent and when you stay silent to me that's that you that you agree that what she did was okay and I'm not for that um, and I'm not saying they have to but for me I cannot spend my money with a company like that if that makes sense I love this kit but because this is we made for her planners and because she advertises it as made for her planners, for Erin Condon planners, um, she, the company was silent on the whole controversy. They didn't say anything. And silence is louder than anything that anyone could ever say. So, uh, either this kit or the next kit will probably be my last few Planner Envy kits. Because um, I went to check their website. I checked their YouTube page. Not YouTube, but Instagram page. And... Um, Facebook page and they don't mention anything about it so that means that they're they stand with Aaron Condren and it's okay they can do it I just won't continue to spend my money um, with them person that's my personal belief um, and I know this can probably fit in the recollections planner as well I'm just you know so I don't know how I feel um about the company staying silent it was just like really so i love her products i love all her stuff but you know sometimes it's it's 
taking a stand and, and saying, speaking up for what's right and what's wrong is, is more important than your bottom line. And for a company to stay silent, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And this is just my personal opinion, nobody else's opinion. And they don't have to, they are in no obligation to say anything. But as a consumer, I would have liked them to. Um, and because they didn't, I'm going to choose to spend my money with a different company. And I'm okay with it. I'm sure that they will be okay with that too. Because they have plenty of subscribers. So anyway, let me get off my soapbox and get to the opening of the video. Of the box. So. Came in the mail the other day. Did not open it up. Like I said, I need to see about going ahead and canceling it. The paper that's in here. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So the first thing I see is the, this is for August 2020 is the paper clips, which is the solar um, system, which are really cute paper clips. I see the little iridescent fish, which I think is adorable. I think, yeah, I think this is absolutely adorable. And then I think this is just an iridescent big one. It doesn't have anything on it. And then she gave us a cute pen, which is really nice. Let's see how it writes. So it's a ballpoint pen. It writes okay. It's okay. It's like a regular pen. It's really cute though. It's really, really cute. And inside are the three kits. That's cute. And I really hate to cancel because I love her designs. But, you know, I'm on the fence. I'm really on the fence about what I'm going to do. I just wish that they would speak up and not just be quiet. Okay, so here's the first thing, the first kit. So it says, shining like the stars, get out beyond your comfort zone. So full boxes, headers, mini checkoffs, appointments. Um, full check office, quarter boxes, bill due, goals, appointments, paydays, habit trackers, reach for the moon, even if you miss your lamb on the stars, uh, washi, the washi's gorgeous as she always. And then this particular, I wish you would stop including these. I hate these things. I don't use them that often. I hate them. It's like a waste for me. Full box this. Okay, so my next one is, and and you know, I love her stuff. You know, you, you have heard me ooh and ah about her stuff all the time. So it's like a bitter, um, it's very bittersweet because I love her stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Just keep swimming. She has seahorses and fish. Those are all full boxes, mini checkoffs, headers. We have uh, quarter boxes here, half boxes, appointments, habit trackers, full checkoffs, paydays, bill dues. This is gorgeous. Just to find the pearls of the ocean, venture, far beyond the shore. I think that's gorgeous. And then we once get these ugly. Yeah, okay, it's not ugly, but I hate them. But anyway, and then we got this sheet. Oh, this is really cute. Now, this is the kit that I would have preferred to have uh, way more be a full kit because, you know, and I'll probably save it for when I take a road trip because it is a travel thing and this is a mini kit
And so we have the travel thing, which I think is gorgeous. The cameras, the road, it looks like a road trip. So we have full boxes and we have many uh, large checkoffs, um, habit trackers, half boxes, quarter boxes, headers and whatnot. So this is the one I feel like this should have been a, a full kit and make this one a mini kit. Or at least give me this sheet and give me a washi sheet. I still feel that way. I don't necessarily need this sheet because I can use all my old kits. So this is the August 2020 Planner Envy box. Like I said, I think I'm going to cancel. I think either this or after this box will probably be my last one. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I said in the beginning of the video how I felt about their response or lack of response to the EC controversy. And I know they're two different companies, but if you make yours specifically for a particular planner and they have a huge controversy, you gotta speak up and say something. You can't just be quiet. And that's just my own personal opinion, y'all. You know, they're not entitled to, but I just feel like you should. It's the right thing to do because a lot of your customers are people of color, African Americans like myself, you know. And just, just speak up, stand for something. And by them not speaking up, it just lets me know what they may possibly stand for. You know, and I don't know unless they say something, they don't, they won't say anything. So it is what it is. We'll see how I feel. I may keep it, I may not. Right as of today, I'm on the cancel bandwagon, to be honest. Um, I said this a couple weeks ago, and I just totally forgot to do it, to be honest, because it automatically comes. So. Anywho, this is the August 2020 Planner Envy subscription box. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all maybe for September. Maybe not. We'll see. Have a good one.